first intros to people in the room. Um, to let you know a little bit about Solo Sirens, because I know some people have been with us from the beginning, some people are, are brand new today, and both of those are so wonderful, and we're so glad to have that full spectrum in the room. So Solo Sirens is a female identifying theater artist collective. We are intercultural, we are intergenerational, we are based at the Civic Theater in Tala. And yay! <laughs> oh, Pacific. And, uh, and uh, we aim to amplify female voices on stage and beyond. We aim to combat gender inequality and the other inequalities that intersect with gender inequality. And we aim to create more caring, more just, and more sustainable ways of making art. And we hope that that has a resonance then for the lives that we lead as well. So we started in 2019, we started with a festival, we thought it was going to be one project, we're still going. Um, we were really lucky in the lead into that festival to get an Abbey 5x5 five five week, and this is a very happy photo from that time uh, when we just finished our week in the Peacock, devising a show with Solo's Artists Collective for the festival. Um, from the beginning, we've been really supported by Tala Community Arts. Solo Sirens grew out of connections, collaborations, and projects based within Tala Community Arts. So I really want to acknowledge the importance of that. You know, these things don't happen in isolation. They always come from an ecology. We've got an amazing arts ecology in Tala we're really grateful for. And uh, Tala Community Arts are co-producing this event with us. So I'd like to pass over to Tony Fagan, who's the director of Tala Community Arts, to say a few words. Yeah. Um, good morning, everybody. Um, it's uh, a great pleasure and honour to be here. Um, it, it's very interesting um, when when you're kind of in charge of an organisation. Um, there's moments where you see threads before the kind of the history of a genesis of something, and I think for the Solar Science Collective. Interestingly, when I look back, it probably began as a germ, although possibly it wasn't known when we did a very interesting project, Where in This World, which was to bring together mothers and daughters to really examine, um, with the aid of felting and storytelling, that Jenny loved storytelling, Gabrielle McGrath was the felt maker, to look at what it is to make a home in a place and also to grow up in a home. So people, um, a, a large portion of the women had come from elsewhere in the world and had made their homes in South Dublin. And I think that began an interesting kind of thought process, perhaps, from my view outside as a historian. And then it went on, um, Jenny had the idea that the Solar Science Festival, and as part of that, the Solar Science Women's Collective um, was born, and they, made a very lovely piece, so their first piece called Falling, which was at the Civic Theatre in the studio as part of that festival, alongside three other solo pieces by women. And then the other thing is that, as a child of an organisation, every so often one has the, the pleasure, I suppose, and the honour to see something then begin to stand on its own feet and move beyond, as it were, the confines of the organisation that it's possibly been sheltering under, and that's what's happened to Solar Science. So it's really great to be here. It's really great to hear the processes that have gone on, particularly around the Kazare project, and to wish the collective all luck in the future. And I know that we will continue to work with you all in different ways in the coming years. So thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to the day.